What is the King's Council? Is there a Queen Council? Why is KSI or the Jideo Latinji contacting a King's Council to help him with the appeal of the fight? Is it a good thing or a bad thing? Well, we'll answer those questions in today's video. But first, let us start with defining what the King's Council means. In the United Kingdom and Commonwealth countries, a King's Council is a senior trial lawyer appointed by the monarch of the country as counsel learned in the law. And in a country whereby the reigning monarch is the king, the title will be called the King's Council. If it were the queen, the title would be changed to the Queen's Council. So ultimately, the King's Council is the highest level a barrister or a lawyer a solicitor can reach in the field of law. So there is a source from Ma'am Taylor whereby he tweets that JJ has instructed the King's Council who advised the PBA yesterday that he will be appealing the result of the fight. For obvious reasons, we will not get into the specific of the appeal publicly and allow the process to play out in accordance to the PBA rules. So the fact that the entire situation played out whereby the PBA posted publicly that the people who made an appeal and there was not JJ's name inside of it and the fact that Mams Taylor posted what I just read it just goes to show that this entire situation is playing into the legal field whereby JJ is probably using or hiring the King's Council to get his decision overturned. So what is my thought on all of this? Well firstly, I am a KSI fan. I want JJ to win and I also want to be as fair as possible. So seeing all of this as a JJ's fan, a KSI's fan, I don't think he needs to go that far to prove his legacy. Comment down below what you think as well, because to me, JJ has already proven something in that fight, and that is the fact that he comes from a very unathletic background. It was, it was, it was underwhelming. Yeah. Especially on Tommy's behalf. Yeah, it's him, man. Because yeah. I did expect him to be more smoky. I'm, I, we all know I'm not. I don't rate his boxing uh, abilities. Yeah. Him, but I did give him more credit than for him to struggle with JJ like that. Yeah. I, I I did think he was gonna come in and put some smoke out. But see the thing is, he fought his way up. He lost the entire sixth round against a professional boxer. I would call it a draw. But I don't think it is necessary for KSI to go to that length to hire King Counsel and try to get the decision overturned. Because if we were to make a decision tree as to how this entire situation would play out. If KSI gets the decision overturned, in his mind, he would think that, oh, I retain my legacy because I do not have a loss in my record. But the reality is that people would sprout conspiracy saying that he would bribe the PBA or there might be crazy conspiracies going around his name. And if he were to lose the appeal, which I believe he would in this situation because I don't think the PBA would be foolish to tarnish their own name by going back on what they rule as a win for Tommy and to suddenly overturn it to a win for JJ or a draw. And I don't think the decision would be overturned. And if that happened, JJ would be considered as a sore loser even more. So I do not think that it actually is a good thing for JJ to go for the legal route and try to get the decision overturned. It is quite ironic because earlier before the Tommy fight, I made a video saying that t JJ picking the Tommy fight is a win-win situation for him. And the best case scenario is JJ winning. And the good case scenario is that JJ lasted the entire round with Tommy and it actually turned out to be true. JJ had a very close fight with Tommy in contrary to Jake, whereby for Jake he was school, he was dominated by Tommy. Whereas with JJ, it was a very close fight. And in my opinion, again, it was a draw. But what I'm trying to say is that it is not necessary for KSI to go on the legal route and try to get a decision overturned because it will be a loss-loss situation for him. So yeah, that is just my opinion on JJ picking the legal route. You know, the King's Council and all that, they're just lawyer. Do not think of it as something crazy. It is just the highest level of lawyer that a person can get in the Commonwealth country. And KSI seems to be going on that route. For my opinion, it is not a good thing. I believe JJ should just take the loss and come back stronger. I don't think losing to Tommy put a dent on his legacy. But I don't believe he need to go that far and somehow try to get a decision overturned because in my opinion, it can backfire and have a worse damage on what he really care about, which is his legacy. But yeah guys, that is my opinion as someone who has been following him for the past seven to eight years. And what about you guys? What are your thoughts regarding this entire situation? I also want an honest thought. Do not just blatantly put hate in the comments, something like, oh, he should have won easily this and that, because you know it is not true. JJ has no right to win in that fight. And the fact that he come that close, I am very proud of him. And I think a lot of his fans are as well. So be honest in the comment section down below. And I'm really looking forward to seeing those comments. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, 
be sure to drop a like and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks, goodbye and peace.